a socket wrench has a handle, a head with a square extension coming out of the head, and a socket. You can see an example of a socket wrench in the image to the right. Sockets allow you grip different sized nuts or bolts. The socket locks onto the square extension on the wrench head. The head of different sized nuts or bolts can be inserted into the socket. The socket functions similarly to a box end wrench. The nut or bolt head will fit into the hollow opening of the socket. Unlike the box wrench, you can change sockets for different sized nuts. This makes socket wrenches useful in any situation. With an open wrench, you have to adjust the jaw position with each turn. A socket wrench has a ratchet which makes it easier to quickly tighten or loosen nuts compared to other wrenches. With a socket wrench, you do not need to reset the wrench's head position with each pull. As you rotate the wrench back to the starting position, the ratchet does not turn the nut or bolt. The ratchet only turns the nut or bolt when you are rotating the wrench in a specific direction. A socket wrench can loosen or tighten based on its knob setting. To change the direction in which the socket turns, flip the knob on the head of the wrench. For example, if the knob is switched to one setting the socket wrench will only grip the nut when you rotate the wrench clockwise. If the knob is switched to the other setting, the wrench will only grip the nut when you rotate the wrench counterclockwise. Recall, that a socket wrench can have different sized sockets attached to it. To change a socket, press the quick release button on the back of the socket wrench. Pull the socket away from the head of the wrench and the socket will come off. To add a new socket, press the quick release button of the back of the head of the wrench. Slide the socket onto the square extension of the wrench. Release the quick release button when the socket is fully on the wrench. Pull the socket to confirm it is secure. To use a socket wrench, start by attaching the correct size socket for the nut or bolt you are working on. Set the direction of the knob on the socket wrench to tighten or loosen. Press the socket onto the head of the nut so there is full contact. Rotate the socket wrench clockwise to tighten the nut. Rotate the socket wrench counterclockwise to loosen the nut. When you cannot rotate the wrench further, move the handle back to the starting position. Rotate the wrench again. Before using a wrench, inspect the wrench for damage. Do not use a bent, cracked or damaged wrench. Using a damaged wrench can result in injury. Do not use a wrench on moving machinery. It can be very dangerous. Do not use a wrench to strike objects. If you need to strike an object, use a hammer. Do not strike a wrench with a hammer to gain more force. In this module you learned about several types of wrenches including, a combination wrench, a crescent wrench, and a socket wrench. The combination wrench combines the open and box wrenches. The crescent wrench has an adjustable jaw. The socket wrench has a ratcheting mechanism that makes it easier to tighten or loosen fasteners.